Hey. It's been a hot minute. I've been definitely missing in action for a whole host of reasons. I kept like filming stuff and like, editing it and then like, <laughs> which was definitely a product of me just not feeling well in general. But yesterday and today have been so much better and we're definitely, I have been saying I'm on the up and up for a really long time, but I actually feel like I am now. Yeah, I think I have been, I've been confused about what kind of videos to make as well. Oh, hey y'all, what's up? It's Imani, I'm back. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. No, but I've been confused about what kind of videos to make because I've been making music and all that, but I think I'm trying to lean into the thing of like, trying to write as many songs as possible so that I get the bad ones out of me too. But then if I'm already not really feeling great, like if my mental health is kind of like going through a little funk and i'm writing like songs that i don't necessarily want like just out and about then it just wasn't conducive to me like ever really posting anything so i'm gonna try to just kind of free up what i want to do i think i'm gonna focus more on just kind of documenting the shit that i'm doing not just the music stuff but also the stuff I'm gonna do to be like whole and well and happy. And so I don't really necessarily know what this video is gonna be, but I felt called to start filming. And so here we are. I wanted to share a little, I'm gonna go to the roof and watch the sunset and maybe read, maybe make music up there. Maybe, I guess I'll pack a bag of all the different things I might want to do. Yeah, let's go to the roof. Look at what the fucking sun is doing. Look at that golden, good, good deliciousness. Mm. Okay, we're gonna see a more up close and personal. It's so windy, I feel like I might go away. I think I'm gonna make music and stuff because the pages of the book are so sensitive to the wind. So I think we're gonna, it's so fucking close to my face. <laughs> I think we're gonna pivot. Look at that. Like what? Are you kidding me? Panorama. Panorama. <laughs> wow. 
We're back. Um, basically, the wind up there is so aggressive, and <laughs> it was kind of beating my ass a little bit. I mean, in a really nice way, low key. But once I started shivering, I was like, okay, that's probably where I should go downstairs again. And so I kind of love that I prepared to be up there for like a million years. But I like, I gave myself enough options that I had a lot of fun. A bitch is inspired me, so. Again, I'm not really sure what the point of this video is or <laughs> what to like call it, but I think that's like more of the kind of stuff that I want to like start making. That's what is, I'm feeling called to do right now. Especially because also in like, in this space of making more music and getting more like, like I can like see and like feel the things that I like want as far as music goes, but like I have to do <laughs> all of it. Like as far as like songwriting goes, that doesn't feel like, there's so much I have to like learn about it, yes, but that feels more like innate. But like production stuff, eventually, your girl is gonna have to figure out how she's gonna record herself, how to mix, how to master. Where do I get album art? How do I go about releasing things and then, you know, putting them well and all these like <laughs> components of it? And how do I film for YouTube and edit videos and have a schedule and be consistent and um, be like a good student and like above all of, all of those things, be like, a whole happy person so i'm trying to figure out the best ways to do that and like how to build a system to have that in place yeah that's why i'm at with that cool we're gonna keep working on this song and then eventually the sun will set and the lighting will be bad and so that's probably where i'll stop and we might already be at that point but i'm just gonna keep filming what i'm writing the trees they dance for you the brain it sings to end it brings the change for something new oh the sun it sets with you in mind the moon's not far behind there's so much light to shine First thought that's like I've been watching a lot of like musicians and pro producers and stuff. They're like interviews and also I've been watching a lot of like Kenny Beats stuff. I <laughs> I think he's so cool. I don't know. I'm really a big fan. And I keep like the don't overthink shit thing I think is so important. Another way I've heard it said is like first thought, best thought, which I like have also internalized and I appreciate because the first thought you might edit it later. But I think like valuing the first thought as like the best that you can do in that moment and not in like a oh that's the best you can do but like in a really beautiful way where it's like wow that's the best thing that just came to me so let's just put it down let's go off of that and then if when I go back I have a different idea then I'll go with that but it's so easy to get hung up on like one blank line where you're like something should go there and yeah I have this idea but it doesn't feel good enough I think it's been helpful for me to be like just go with it and then we'll move on uh there is so nice light to shine and I know the moon doesn't have its own light but it's still shining so reflecting still counts I don't care I'm not a scientist oh the sun So 
the other night went out with, with some friends and we went um, to like a pride poetry thing, which one thing we went to, and I had some wine there. And then I went out again that night and went to a bar and drank some more wine. And then <laughs> um, we came back and I'd gotten some Southern Comfort, so like a brown liquor moment. Um, and so I had it in the kitchen. So we poured some of that into this drink that we got from McDonald's. Anyway, what I mean to say is the next morning, um, I was most certainly hungover. And the worst part about, uh, my head was like mostly fine, but I like being hungry and hungover is one of the worst combinations ever because then your stomach is just all kinds of fucked up and confused and regretful and <laughs> not regretful, but you know, it's like what the fuck. I just, that train of thought came because <laughs> um, last night I was laying down in bed and I farted and it had so much bass in it that I swear I felt like the vibration in the room, like the whole room <laughs> felt like it shook <laughs> It was so funny. <sighs> well, wild arms. <laughs> Put a screen recording the outfit just in case you want to see. I could put it right there. Put it on ya. Yeah. Oh, we are having a joke coming over. So I just use, because when you do software instrument, the piano scores will come up. And so I just use that to figure out chords and then. It's easiest to hear on it. I hate my outfits. I try to press the buttons for the chords and then I just end up typing them. Je ne sais pas from your cell phone, from, from your cell phone, from, from your heart.
Okay, I'm gonna go now because the sun has like pretty thoroughly set. I'm gonna go maybe do some homework. Who knows? I think I'm gonna go and do some planning for this weekend. Get hit some good structure, hit a good stride, keep this positive energy flowing. And I'm really excited for the things to come. Um, for my music, for this channel, and for just like my life more generally. And I'm really grateful for y'all for watching this. I hope that you're doing well. I'm sending you a whole lot of love and good restorative energy. And I'm really excited to see you in another video soon. Bye!